Hello, I'm Terry, and today I will be calculating enterprise value. And to calculate enterprise value, the first thing you need is the come share account. You can find those from 10K statements or annual reports. And you also need to look through those annual reports to find all the options and warrants. I have options here, the different tranches, the different prices or categories for the options. And I also need to find the restricted stock unit, performance stock unit. And for those, the restricted stock units and the performance stock units, I just need to list the amount that the company stakes because there's no calculation for those two. You also need to read the details because maybe they have an exercise price that make it similar to an option but in this case it's not and but for the options you need to use a certain method to calculate this dilution and that's called the treasury stock method and the treasury stock method simply implies that the company offers employees options to buy stock in the future at a discounted rate if the exercise price is reached. The exercise price is usually higher than the share price. That's because the company wants to provide an incentive for their employees to stay. So once that exercise price is reached, the employees have the options to buy at a discounted rate, you know, so they can own stock for a discounted rate. But what happens, the company actually sells their employees the stock at a discounted rate, but the company used the money that it raised for selling those options to their employees and turn around and buy the stock that they just sold. And the amount that's left over is called the dilution. So that's the whole deal behind that. So to calculate, the diluted share count, you need the common share count. Then you need to add all of the dilution amounts from the options and restricted stock units and performance stock units. There you go. And you need to use this number here to calculate the equity value here. So what you would do is you would take this diluted share count and multiply it by the share price. And now we can get on with the rest of our calculation you need a current balance sheet for the company that you are evaluating to pull these numbers here all of these line items i had the cash and equivalents equity investments other non-core assets net operating losses total debt preferred stock non-controlling interest unfunded pension plans legal leases and restructuring and legal liabilities and as you see here you will subtract some of these items the items at the top usually assets and for all the liability and equity side you will add and I can just use a simple summation formula since I have the ones that I'm subtracting are already negative so I'm gonna get to it here. Start with your equity value. So now this is my enterprise value here. And for valuation, the enterprise value is very important to calculate because you need 
to use enterprise value for a couple of calculations, key calculations for valuations. You see here, I had the enterprise value divided by revenue. And here I had the enterprise value divided by EBITDA. And I will compare my company to all the other companies in the valuation. And that's pretty much it for calculating enterprise value and just a little history or more knowledge about enterprise value is that the enterprise value consists of the core operations that's available for all stakeholders in the company but the equity value is the value of everything in the company but it's only available to the shareholders and that's pretty much it on calculating enterprise value. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.